Mr. President, there had not been a U.S. service member killed in combat in Afghanistan since February of 2020. You set a deadline, you pulled troops out, you sent troops back in, and now 12 Marines are dead. You said the buck stops with you. Do you bear any responsibility for the way that things have unfolded in the last two weeks? I bear responsibility for fundamentally all that's happened of late. But here's the deal. You know, I wish you'd one day say these things, you know as well as I do that a former president made a deal with the Taliban that he would get all American forces out of Afghanistan by May 1. In return, the commitment was made, and that was a year before. In return, he was given a commitment that the Taliban would continue to attack others but would not attack any American forces. Remember that? I'm, I'm being serious. Uh, no, I, I'm asking you a question. Be, uh, because no, before... No, 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 wait a minute. I'm asking you a question. Is that, is that accurate? The best... talking about, but Mr. President, respectfully, since that I don't think that the issue that... Uh, do you think that people have an issue with pulling out of Afghanistan or just the way that things have happened? I think they have an issue that people are likely to get hurt, some, as we've seen, have gotten killed, and that it is messy. Imagine where we'd be if I had indicated on May the 1st I was not going to renegotiate an evacuation date. We were going to stay there. I'd have only one alternative, pour thousands of more troops back into Afghanistan. Ladies and gentlemen, it was time to end a 20-year war. Thank you so much.